How's it going out there? Welcome from H2 Tech Videos. Today I want to show you the Kindle app on the Surface tablet with Windows RT. And uh, you just go to the store, type in Kindle, download it, and now we're going to open it up. And here it is. First thing you're going to do is sign in if, if you have an account. If not, you'll create a new account. We're going to sign in. I'm going to do one of these. Pew! I'm going to block the screen for one second there. Let me go ahead and put in my information. Not that you want it anyway, just got to, you know. Feel free to enjoy uh, my hand, which is very nice and lovely. And I'm almost done. And we'll sign in. All right, so now we're signing in to the account. And it says there is a problem. Holy moly. Shouldn't be a problem. Put the code in again. Try it again, sign in. I might have too many devices uh, authorized. I might have to. Oh, there we go. So, will you just put it wrong? All right, so here we go. We are on our Kindle app here. And these are all the different books that I have downloaded. Uh, actually, these are all the books that are in my cloud. So, remember, if you. Cloud is what you have bought, purchased, or downloaded. Uh, device is actually what you have downloaded onto this device. So we'll go to cloud here and I'm going to download Rich Dad Poor Dad. And it's downloading as we speak. And let's see how we can customize it. So this is obviously the book in the long view. Now, first thing you want to do is go to view. And view will allow us to make some changes here. One to our font. That's how we do bigger or smaller font. Um, the book has been downloaded, so it's telling me it's ready to read offline, so that's perfect. Um, we can change the background to sepia or the uh, black black background with white lettering, which is usually better um, for a low light environment, so we can do that. Apply settings there, and now it looks better. What else can we do? We can do uh, let's see we have our other settings right here and this is basically what we use to sign out we can go to my account get a little more information here um, now I'm sure there's gotta be a way to do it but I just don't see it where you could actually make it like a real book and you have text here text here I'm kind of like trying to find that and I don't see that right now uh, let's go to notes and marks see what that looks like so here we go these are all the different um, notes that I've taken in the course of reading this book and it looks like it's um, not very responsive right now that's all right let's see here so these are different highlighted different notes I've taken if we tap on this note, maybe you can't tap them. No worries. Okay, so close that. We can pin this to the start so we can, again, obviously see it on the front screen. You can sync here to do any type of updates. You can hit go to and go to a specific section of the book, or we can go back to our library. I'm sure there's got to be a way for that text, though. I don't. That doesn't make sense. That they wouldn't allow. They wouldn't let you do that. You can change your margins here, which I don't think is that important. But uh, I don't see a feature that lets you do a side by side like a real book. So anyway, let's go to our library here. And now, if I switch to device, this is the book I've downloaded. So now it shows on here. Remember, anything that's downloaded, you can read anywhere even if there is no internet connection. We also have a shortcut right to the Kindle store. So if you do want to shop, um, tap on that. It will take you right to their online store. And we'll be able to purchase books and have them downloaded right onto our Surface tablet. So it's uh, still loading here. We'll give it a second. I'm curious to see if it's going to just take us to their website or if it's like a designated section just for the Kindle app with in regards to Surface. 
which is probably not true so I'm not going to get my hopes up on that one but uh, it is still loading and just to check here I am connected to the internet so I'm not sure why I'm getting in trouble here but normally that's how you would jump right to the store if you would just tap store then it would take you right to the website where you would download it so um, not sure why the, the link isn't working obviously this tablet has only been out for three days so uh, it is a little new so no worries let's close that we're actually going to swipe here. We'll bring our uh, app back up here. And basically, this is the Kindle app on the Surface tablet with Windows RT. All right. Hope you found this helpful. Make sure you subscribe to H2 Tech videos. Like the video if you did find it helpful. And keep watching. All right. Have a good one.